All right, Avi here and welcome to part two and getting started with Python. Now we left off where we got our print statement down, we had PyCharm, Python both installed. Now it's actually time to start writing Python. So the first thing we're gonna talk about is variables. All right, what are variables? How do we initialize them, store values, all that good stuff. So what is a variable? Well, hopefully in any other programming language that you might have dealt with, you know what variables are. Variables are basically memory locations to store values. If my friend is turning 20 years old, all right, I want to store that value 20 in a variable. I can do that. Let's say I'm stating that my name is Avi. I can store that sentence, that string in a variable. All variables are, they're, they're just data. They're just memory locations to store values. So how do we do that in Python? Well, let's take a look. So instead of writing in this file where we'll normally write code, just for simplicity, we're going to be using the Python console. Now, if you don't see the Python cons console like this down below, what I want you to do is hover over this sort of menu icon in the bottom left of your screen. And you'll see a menu with a list of different things you can open. And we want to open the Python console. So immediately you can see the Python console has open. Now yours might be a bit below. Just go ahead and drag it up. So to initialize a variable in Python, there's three steps. The first step is the variable name. In other languages, you have to write var, init, all of that random stuff before the variable name. There's none of that. It's just the variable name. So we're talking about my friend. He's turning 20. We're going to write h. And I like lowercase, so h. Okay. The second step is an equal sign. You have to assign your variable to a value, and you do that through an equal sign. So age equals, and then finally you write the value. In this case, he turned 20. So we're going to say age equals 20. Hit enter. And now age, the variable has been assigned the value 20. If we type age in the console, we get the value 20. Fantastic. Now let's go back to the sentence. My name is Avi. I want to store that sentence in a variable. So I'm going to create a variable called sentence hit equals. And in quotation marks, because it's a string, I'm going to say my name is Avi. Go ahead and enter. And now that string, that sentence has been assigned to the variable sentence. So now if I want to take a look at it again or view it, view the data inside the variable, just type it, hit enter, and you get my name is Avi. Fantastic. That's all there is to variables. So you assign data, you can print it, you can use it in various methods. We'll cover that in later lectures, but all I wanted you to understand is how to create these variables. Now, Python also has a neat feature known as multiple assignment. Suppose I have a bunch of friends whose birthday is today. One's turning 16, another's turning 18, three more are turning 21, doesn't matter. Um, based on whatever, what we know right now, we'd say, um, let's say Sarah's age, she's turning 16, Bob's age, he's turning 21, Michael, Mike, he's turning 17. This is tedious, right? We have to create a new variable on every line. But with multiple assignment in one line, you can assign the values to all the variables. The way that works is very simple. I want to assign Sarah, Bob, and Mike the ages 16, 21, and 17 respectively. What I say is Sarah, comma, Bob, comma, Mike is equal to 16, comma, 21, comma, 17. All right. In this case, Sarah is getting the value of 16. Bob is getting the value of 21. Mike is getting the value of 17. Hit enter. And now if I want to say Bob's value, I get 21. If I want Mike's value, I get 17. That's the way multiple assignment works. Instead of having to do it on every individual line, you can get all your variables populated in one single line. Now, suppose you had 10 friends who were turning 17 today. Instead of having to do this 10 times, one variable for each person, and then 17 10 times, you can assign each variable the same value by saying Sarah is equal to Bob is equal to Mike is equal to 17. By doing so, each one of these variables has been assigned the same value, 17. So now if I say Sarah, I get 17, Bob is 17, and Mike is 17. That's the power of multiple assignment. 
to make your Python code swifter and easier, right? You don't have to go through the process of multiple declara declaration in every line. It's all in one line, nice and easy. So for a quick challenge, let's go ahead and try something out. I want you to create in one line, two variables. One should be your age and one should be your name. The first one should be a normal number like we've discussed and the other one should be a sentence. So using this multiple assignment, go ahead and give it a try, your name and your age. All right, hopefully you're able to do it. If you weren't, don't worry, we're just getting started. So I'm gonna go ahead and say name comma age is equal to. Now the first one, since it is a string, I have to put it in quotation marks and I'm gonna say Avi and then I'm gonna say comma my age, 15. Awesome. So now let's go ahead and check the values, name and age. Great. So that's it for this lecture. Um, a quick recap, we learned what variables are, we learned how to initialize them. There are three parts. You have the variable name, an equal sign, and the value. And then we learned about multiple assignment and declaring multiple variables in one line. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.